Hello everybody. Because we're back in lockdown, we can't have our normal Sunday school at the moment. So instead, I want to show you something in this bag that can teach us some lessons. It's something that is instantly recognisable. Every one of you will have seen it before. But I want to begin with a Bible verse. So let's look at that first. The verse is John chapter 10, verse 10, and it's something important that Jesus said. Let's say it together. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. John chapter 10, verse 10. If I ask you the question, why did Jesus come? Some of you, I'm sure, would answer, he came to save us from our sins. And you'd be absolutely right. But saving us from our sins is only part of what Jesus came to do for us. And our verse tells us another reason why Jesus came. He came so that we could have real life. Of course, everybody has physical life and every life is wonderful and precious. But God wants to give us a completely new life that is even more wonderful. He wants to give us spiritual life that lasts forever and enables us to have a relationship with himself. You know, some people have the idea that life for a Christian is dull and boring. But the opposite is true. Actually, you will never know what it is to really live until you ask Jesus into your life to be your saviour. Jesus came so that we could have real life. That life starts when you ask him to be your saviour, confessing your sins and believing that he died on the cross to take the punishment in your place. Have you done that? If not, why not do it today? Now, I wonder if you've ever heard of this man. His name is John Pemberton. He was a biochemist who lived in the 19th century. Actually, very few people have heard of him. But in 1866, he invented something that everybody knows about. No matter where you go in the world today, everybody you meet will instantly recognize the thing he invented. I've got a sample of his invention in the bag I showed you earlier. Would you like to see it? Here it is, Coca-Cola. And I believe this bottle of Coke can teach us three lessons about being a Christian. Lesson number one. When John Pemberton first invented Coca-Cola, people tried to copy it. They managed to make something that looked the same but they couldn't copy the taste. There was a special ingredient that had a code name 7X and it was kept very secret. And without that ingredient, it just wasn't the same. The Coca-Cola company came up with many different advertising slogans over the years, but one of the best remembered ones is this one that they brought out in 1969. It's the real thing. Without ingredient 7x, it wasn't the real thing. And our Bible verse tells us that you can't have real life without the missing ingredient, which is Jesus. No matter how hard you try to fill your life up with nice things, you will never feel satisfied, you will never really live until you trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour. You'll always find there is something missing until he comes into your life. Lesson number two. Coca-Cola is sold right throughout the world. You can go to the most far off villages and the people there will probably know all about Coca-Cola. This man drinking a can of Coke is from one of the tribes in Papua New Guinea. Coca-Cola tastes great, 
but it had to be taken to other countries so that people there could taste it for themselves. Coca-Cola is good, but we have something far better to tell people about. Our mission is to take the good news of Jesus Christ into every corner of the world so that people everywhere can be saved. That's what Jesus commanded us to do. Lesson number three. You don't have to be famous to make a big difference to the lives of people in the world around you. Hardly anybody has heard of John Pemberton, but billions of people have tasted and enjoyed the drink he invented. All of us can play a part in spreading the good news, the message about Jesus. There are many different ways you can help to do that. You can tell your friends and relatives about Jesus. You can pray every day for people to become Christians. You can help missionaries by giving them money and by praying for them. You could one day become a missionary yourself and go to tell people in other countries about Jesus. People may not remember you. They may not even know your name. But if you play your part in helping them to hear about Jesus, then it will make a huge difference. Next time you see a bottle or a can of Coca-Cola, I hope you'll remember these three lessons. And don't forget to check out the quiz questions and activity sheet on the website. If you're in our Sunday school, there are prizes for doing them. Let's finish by singing a chorus together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Beatles.